Alex. I'm doing a temperature test, another one, um, on a warmer day this time. Uh, but the, both of these, all these different infrared mats have been running for about 30 minutes. Uh, actually, probably closer to 40 minutes at this point on their max settings. So I maxed out all the controllers and we can now kind of do a quick test uh, to see, see how they do. Uh, this is a Therastage here. And we are looking at uh, 116 degrees right here. Now, the stones are, the gems are what emit infrared. Um, so let's see what the actual stone is. The stone is around 99 degrees, okay? Um, oh, now, what about in between? In between, we have 116. And I just would like to point something out, that beneath these gems or stones, there is no infrared emitting layers, okay? So it's more like an electrical heating pad, meaning I'm not surprised that the temperature is much hotter in between the jade, okay? So the question is, is that major increase in temperature is mostly due to the wires underneath. We now jump back to the gemstones, 103, 103, 103, but again, big increase in temperature in between the actual gemstones, okay? Now over here you, in the Vitamat, you will see some gemstones again, um, but there's, uh, there's several layers of infrared emitting material. Um, there's actually more layers of infrared emitting material than the other brands per se, uh, but each brand kind of has its own unique design. Some have advantages, some have disadvantages. Either way, in between, uh, if we measure the temperature, I'm going to see like 98 degrees on the actual stones in the 89, 103, in between. Now those temperatures in between here, in between the gemstones, there's actual infrared emitting layers. So when I take that temperature in between the stones, we know that uh, that, that temperature is, is coming from mainly infrared, okay? So there's, there's a big difference there. While they may look similar in their design on the surface, Vitamin and Therosage, there's a big difference with this map as far as all the different infrared layers coming in between it. And I would point out that, uh, by the way, one of the layers in here is a ceramic type of material, uh, paramagnetic ceramic. There's a lot of infrared studies, a lot, on uh, ceramic types of materials, by the way. Um, only pad has ceramic in it. This is the quantum pad, uh, and this normally is supposed to majorly reduce temperature. At the max setting of this Biomat Professional, the surface temperature with the quantum pad on top is 87 degrees. So that, that actually drastically cools it down, even at the hottest temperature. Let's see how hot it is underneath the pad, 152 degrees. So you can actually see how amazing this pad is to actually reduce the temperature. This thing is just an inch thick, okay? But it's a special type of webbing in here and material. That's a pretty big temperature drop. And I'm sure some of these spots are maybe even a little bit hotter. Uh, but either way, 152, 158, if you want to get that max temperature uh, on the actual surface pad, you got to keep the quantum pad on top. So again, this is around like 87, 90 degrees. If you reduce the control panel to a lower setting, you're going to, of course, get even a lower surface temperature, maybe in like the 60s and 70s, certainly comfortable enough to sleep on. Um, and that's one advantage of getting a quantum pad uh, if you don't want to get too overwhelmed by the heat of the surface of this, but you still want to get a lot of infrared, you have, but you really have to kind of reduce the surface temperature. The infrared will still pass through the quantum pad, okay? Uh, and a lot of people ask that question. Um, but again, uh, the other thing here is that by putting anything over an infrared mat, any sort of material over it, it could be a towel, it could be whatever, it'll actually help warm up the surface of it more and more quickly because the infrared is radiating into this and then reabsorbing that heat. It's not traveling out as much. So it's a faster way to warm up a pad is put some sort of material on top 
Uh, this pad right here, by the way, is from a Biomat Mini. And this is to protect the pad, make it a little bit softer, um, but a lot of it is to actually help warm this up a lot faster, okay, the warm-up time. Um, and to make it a little bit more comfortable, again, if you have it on a hotter setting, uh, to have it versus right up against your skin, okay. Um, but that was just a quick differential in temperature. You can tell a lot, again, these were all in the max setting. Um, and if you have any more questions about this or different types of tests you want me to run uh, that would be helpful to you, just send me a message or a response form or give me a call. I'd be happy to help you. Thanks for watching.